Hello everyone. In this session of CCNA series, I'll show you how to configure VLAN, verify VLAN and assign different ports to different VLANs on the Cisco switch. Just to give you an overview, I'll be configuring three different VLANs. VLAN 5, which I will name it as faculty. VLAN 6, which I will name it as students. VLAN 7, which I will name it as Guests. Let's go ahead and create some VLANs on the switch. To create a VLAN, you need to enter the configuration mode. And configure the VLAN by using the command VLAN space VLAN ID. So I'll create VLAN 5 first and then name it as faculty. Similarly, I'll create VLAN 6 and name it as students. Similarly, I'll create VLAN 7 and name it as guest. So here we go. We are done with creating the VLAN. Now to verify this configured VLAN, you can use show VLAN command. Here you can see I have created three different VLANs but you can see all the ports on the switch are by default assigned to a default VLAN that is VLAN 1. So let's assign some ports to this VLAN which we have configured. So again I have to go into the configuration terminal mode and then get into the interface configuration mode and assign the two ports which we have to faculty VLAN first. So interface FA0 slash 3. So before we assign this port to the VLAN, we have to configure this port as an access port. So the command to configure that is switch port mode access. And then we can assign the VLAN by using the switch port access VLAN command and then assign this port to VLAN 5. That is the faculty VLAN. Similarly, you can assign port number 4 and then configure access port and then assign it to VLAN 5. Then we can verify it by using show VLAN command. So here you can see FA0 slash 3 and 4 assigned to faculty VLAN. Similarly, we will assign other ports to student and guest VLAN as well. So there is another command which can help you to assign multiple port all together to a VLAN. So that command is interface range FA0 slash. For example, if I want to assign these two ports to student VLAN, I'll use 0 slash 1 dash 2. Then I'll configure this port, both the ports as access port. And then I will assign it to VLAN 6. Similarly, I will configure remaining two ports into guest VLAN as well, 5 and 6. And then I'll configure access port and I'll assign to VLAN 7. Then we can verify show VLAN. There you go. Here you can see we have these ports assigned to different VLANs. There is another command which we can use to verify that is show VLAN VLAN ID. And for example, if you want to check how many ports do I have in VLAN number 5? So I can type show VLAN ID 5 and here you can see two ports assigned to this VLAN. The state is active and the name of the VLAN is faculty. That's it for this session. I hope this was informative for you. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.